Hallo zusammen und willkommen zurück zu Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes. Gut, dann wollen wir Dr. Emmerich mal besuchen. Auf geht's. Gut, wir müssen hier vorsichtig sein, nicht dass uns die guten Jungs hier entdecken und uns den Spaß versauen. Ach ja, stimmt ja, wir dürfen ja keine Schusswaffen mehr benutzen. Uh, Scheiße, Dreck. Echt super. Das kann ja heiter werden. Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nano machine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? Yeah. There's lots of boxes piled up in here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is 141.52. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. Ah, und äh, was ist mit den Jungs? Die haben hier Waffen. Die können einfach welche benutzen. Äh, wie ungerecht ist das? Oder wissen die nicht, dass das auch passieren könnte? Äh. Dann kontaktieren wir uns mal. Äh, kon dann kontaktieren wir mal die Waffenexperten. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Salad Snake. You're the nuclear specialist that the Colonel mentioned. That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the Nuclear Emergency Search Team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon. The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen. And neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. Ja, vielleicht sollte man das den Soldaten da drin auch sagen, dass sie nicht schießen sollen. Aber naja. Man kann nicht alles haben, ne? sich da auch noch mal umguckt, habe ich total vergessen. Mist. Jetzt müssen wir noch mal warten. Nein. Naja. 
lieber einmal mehr warten als einmal so schnell zu laufen. Ach, Mist, jetzt kommt der Idiot auch noch zurück. Ich habe hier keine. Was kann man denn hier sonst noch? Magazine. Keine. Hm. Diese Bücher für Erwachsene. Mist. Dann können wir doch nicht mal K.O. schlagen oder so. Na, K.O. also. Komm schon, der andere kommt hoch. Nein. Warten, warten auf den richtigen Moment. Jetzt aber. Okay, da geht jetzt da gerade hin. Leise. Weg hier. Boah, das war haarscharf. Boah, mein lieber Scholli. Hm? Ähm. Ups, das, ähm, umbringen wollte ich ihn eigentlich nicht, aber mh, naja. Passiert ist eben passiert. <lacht> Unfälle am Arbeitsplatz. <lacht> okay. Dann wollen wir mal ziehen. Komm hier, Kollege. Hier. Bleibst hier mal auf dem stillen Örtchen. Merkt keiner. Schalten wir auch mal eben aus. Kabine mit ihm. So, komm, Kollege. Denkst du, bist du nicht tot? Nur bewusstlos. So. Betäubungsmunition und sie ist natürlich abgeschlossen. So. Nichts. Farmer. Und so kommen. Munition. Okay, hier können wir noch nichts öffnen. Okay, 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 okay. Dann. Ähm, noch eine tiefer. Wenn wir gleich hinfahren sollen, aber egal. Oh. 
Tal ist ja der gute Doktor. Nein, auch er hört uns nicht. <lacht> Alle taub. Herein. Das sieht irgendwie nicht gesund aus. Snake, watch out. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. Das sieht alles nicht gesund aus, Snake. No? Okay. Mal sehen, ob wir es gleich beim ersten Anlauf hinbekommen. Ups. Ist der Kastmus haben wir jetzt nicht, ne? Noch nicht. Irgendwie. Nein. Ups. Taste gedrückt. Ganz Okay. Okay. Ah. Wie war denn das nochmal mit... Ach ja, die Kameras aus, ausknallen. Äh, abschießen, mal nicht die ausknallen. Abschießen. Na gut. Zumindest habe ich das so im Original gemacht. War doch da, oder? Oder war es nur ein Remake? Sind noch eindeutig zu viel. Gut, dass wir hier reichlich haben. So. So. Wieder eine weniger. Und die nächste. Es sei denn, das reicht, wir kommen da durch. Puh. 
schafft. Los geht's. Hier gibt's Donationen. gefallen mir nicht irgendwie. Das riecht nach Ärger. Einiges Blutbad angerichtet. Und wo ist der, der in zwei Teile zerschnitten wurde? Hat er ihn gegessen oder wie? <lacht> Der fehlt nämlich. Hm. Sehr eigenartig. Ich habe man die extra rausgelegt, weil man sie nicht im Detail angucken kann. <lacht> Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Stealth camouflage? Who are you? <laughs> Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Japanese animes. I've come from another world to battle with you. What is it? Revenge. It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. <laughs> off him. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Uh-oh. If you have a question about members of Foxhound, you should ask Naomi. I'm sorry, but there's no one in Foxhound like that. There are currently only six members of Foxhound. Psycho Mantis, Sniper Wolf, Vulcan Raven, Decoy Octopus, Revolver Ocelot, and finally, Liquid Snake. The Genome Soldiers under his command are next generation special forces. Foxhound is intended to be a small number of highly elite hand-picked soldiers. You're talking about the current Foxhound, right? Yes. Snake, who or what is that thing? Is he an enemy or not? That's what I'd like to know. Naomi, you really don't have any idea? Maybe I should ask you the same thing. What? Nothing. Forget about it. Hmm.
macht das sich auch noch unsichtbar. Schuppidu. auf jeden Fall sicher. Er scheint auf Schläge zu stellen. Au. Aber wir nicht. Na ja, gut, wir sind doch kein Cyborg. Ja, hier. Zanzibar. Is it over?
Arnold. That ninja is Grey Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You yourself, in Zanzibar land. Yes. He should have been killed, but he's still alive. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar land. And that was Grey Fox? But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I've ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Grey Fox after that? The record said he died in an accident. I see. But even if that ninja is Grey Fox, the question is, why? From what I can tell, he didn't know who he was. You're saying he's just living off his will to fight? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Mm -hmm. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform's different from theirs. You're the Metal Gear Rex chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh. So you're here to rescue me? Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh. Well, at least you're not one of them. Hmm. Are you hurt? Ah, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Liar! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? Aren't they just trying to use the TMD missile module to launch a disabled nuclear warhead? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. I... No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know. No. All the armament was built by a separate department. And the President personally supervised the final assembly with the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. 
The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all, I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So, this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launch that thing... No. Damn! Damn! I'm such a fool! It's all my fault. The truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father? He was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But in the end, I was the one being used. Using science for peace? That's only an anime. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower. But it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the base's control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by Kodak. How am I supposed to escape from an island? <sighs> okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good, but I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl. The engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is. Over there. Oh no. Damn, they spotted me. Meryl, what happened? 
Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you. What's wrong? You're all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I, uh, just glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otakon. Otakon? It stands for Otaku Convention. An otaku is a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. Yeah, that's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Sounds like an excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has progressed because there is war. And because of scientists' greed, weapons of mass destruction were born. But that's all over. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. Ja, und nach dieser langen Unterhaltung sind wir wieder alleine. Ah. Der gute alte Attacker. Und hier, wie man schon in der Zwischensequenz mehrmals gesehen hat, sind Mario und Yoshi. Ich kann auf die schießen. Bei Mario gibt es immer ein extra Leben. Und bei Yoshi. Ja. Yoshi. Ja. Und hier steht der Nintendo Gamecube. Ich habe den Schreibtisch gerade kaputt geschossen. Das Speichermenü des Gamecubes. <lacht> ja, nette Easter Eggs, ne? Und 
Alter, war das ein Poster. Von Zone of the Enders 2. Was aber nicht für den Nintendo Gamecube rauskam. <lacht> ja. Ach, Kojima hat schon echt super Sachen reingebaut in seine Spiele. So, wir sind sowieso voll. Aber gucken wir uns trotzdem. Hier ist alles leer. Na gut, dann wollen wir mal zusehen, wie es Mary geht. Hoffentlich steckt sie nicht arg in Schwierigkeiten. Ja, wird Zeit, es herauszufinden. Und ab geht's.